Darish zone and dropping a 64 gigabyte image here. And you know me, I love the 64 gigabyte $20 price range. Really nice stuff. We haven't seen one in a while. And this one has a totally custom theme. I've never seen this before. And when I was doing this image review, I had never seen this image before either. So I'm just going into this blind as well. Definitely offers some cool, interesting perspectives and some interesting collections. Let's go ahead and give this one a look. All right, here we go. Another image, another day. 64 gigabyte from DZ. Supposedly custom themes, no video snaps, but supposedly we get some splash screens, shaders, other things. 23 systems. I have this on a 64 gigabyte sand disk. Ultra. When you unzip the file, it's 59.4 gigabytes, 63 billion, 864 million, 569 thousand bytes. And I hope this is the right theme. This doesn't look correct at first. Ah, okay. It's just very black. <laughs> okay. So, kind of interesting. Um, you know, honestly, it's actually kind of cool to see that it's just so basic. Um, and it's a different look. It's always cool when some when a new uh, when something new comes around the corner, you know. Um, so if you do want to change it though, it's on his uh, art book theme. You can also go carbon, CRT, bunch of other themes installed on here. Ten magazine madness, minimal, mini SNES and NES. Okay, and we're on art book. All right. Um, sound settings. Let's make sure you're not blowing out your ears. Looking good there. As far as background, doesn't seem like we have any. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. It's got over 9,000 games. 9,470. <sighs> looking good, looking good. Let's see what, else, what we got here. Arcade, 1,170 games. When you go in, this is what the theme looks like. So it does have pictures. A mix of pictures. Some of them are arcade cabinets. Some of them are JPEGs. Then you have Atari 2600, 475, Atari 7800, 54, Atari Lynx, 82, Commodore 64, 251, Cole E, Co, 157, Sega Dreamcast, do we got any? No, no Sega Dreamcast. Family Computer Disk System, uh, one. Okay, one game, Dracula. Game & Watch, 52, Game Gear, 249, Game Boy, 358, Game Boy Advanced, 512, so that's good that he's not just shoving them all in there, a select few. Let's go ahead and load one up and see what we're looking at as far as bezels and loading screens. All right, so he has his own little loading screen, little TV, black and white, looking good. All right, and we have a bezel. We have a little curved bezel, and it also has shaders installed. So those people that like shaders, there you go. If you don't, you want to hit select an X. And you have the new retro arc. So really cool that we have the new retro arc. You go into shaders, and you have all your shader cores and options here. All right, so that's pretty cool. Quit retro arc. Oh, I think we quit the system too. Oh, well, good, because we just wanted to check what it looked like. Uh, but you can go back to resume game. You don't have to exit the game from there. Uh, game Boy Color, 166. Mame, 2,272. Didn't we already see Mame? Oh, we had Mame. What was the thing we already saw? Arcade. Okay. So Arcade is 1170, and then Mame total. You have total Mame games of 2,272. So quite a bit here. This is going to include your Final Burn Alpha as well. Uh, as you see, we got some CPS 1, 2, and 3 games in here as well. Alex a kid, things like that. Sega Master System, 279. Sega Mega Drive, not Genesis, but fine, 808. 808 just makes me think that there might be some, some hacks in there, maybe. MSX, three. All right, three of those, Dracula. Nintendo 64, two. Mario Kart and Super Mario. Neo Geo. 144, 
nice to see. Nintendo, 946. Again, this must have some hacks in there. Yeah, it has some different versions. Looking good though. PC Engine, 329. Ports, what do we got here? We got Cody. PSP, Puzzle Games. One, PlayStation. I believe there's quite a few. Yeah, 58 PlayStation games. So for those of you interested in PlayStation, on a, on a 64 gigabyte, that's something that 64 gigabytes tend to leave out. I have to say, as far as like images that have everything for you, this is definitely not one of those images. It's, it's a little bit catered. You know, having those PlayStation games is one of the reasons for it. Sega Genesis 32X, but it has some cool differences. 36 games there. Sega CD... Eight games, Batman, Echo, Final Slight, Sylphid, Sonic CD, The Terminator, and Time Gal. SG-1000, 88, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, 967. So again, it's going to have some hacks, maybe some Super Famicom. Yeah, Super Famicom's in there as well. CPS 1, 2, and 3, Cody, PC Engine CD-ROM 2. We have Dracula. So he likes Dracula. Super Graphics, 7. Shoot 'em ups, all of them together, 155. All games, 9,470. So, as you see, cool little theme, pretty basic, 64 gigabyte, no video snaps. As far as your RetroPie, it is running the latest with the new RetroArch Core setup, so that's good to see. This is all running well. Um, it had some pre installed themes on it. Some of you, I kind of like this bare minimum look, but you know, for somebody who wants a little bit more you know, a little bit more graphically intense. You can switch over to Magazine Madness and get this thing looking really good. As I mentioned, it does have shaders and you can just turn those off really quick. Um, as far as my final thoughts on this, as we get to the end, I did wanna mention that, you know, Synthwave 64 is my number one as far as go-to. It still would be. Um, I like that this is up to date. That's definitely a benefit. So there's Magazine Madness. See how it totally changes the look of this image? So you can change the, the theme if you don't like that theme. That's not gonna um, that's not gonna limit you. But back to the thing with Synthwave is, you know, this only has two Nintendo 64 games. I know Synthwave should have more than that. This only has a certain amount of Game Boy Advance games. It only has certain systems, but it has a ton of PlayStation games. So where it lacks in some things, it gains in others. So I think this is gonna be kind of a specific image that some people may like, some people may not. But another thing going for it, it is all up to date and updated, that's nice. And uh, it does have some custom theme things on it. Now, um, back to shaders and things, let's go ahead and launch. Uh, let's go ahead and do a CPS3. CPS3, let's do third strike. We go in. There are no video snaps, but it is going to show you the JPEG. Does have custom loading screens. And let's go ahead and see what's going on with the arcade games. Okay. So custom uh, looks like to be that Phil. It has Phil's Doodles bezels, and it has the shaders installed as well. And this is running good. So it kind of has that old school arcade look with the shaders. Some people either love them or hate them, but it's so easy to turn them on or off. The bezels are a nice little feature though, to have those all set up. If you want to change your launch screens, you can do that fairly easily. Change your introduction videos to something different, you can do that fairly easily. All right, I'm just gonna start select out of here. And then just before we end, I'm gonna do one more. Um, let's do a console really quick, Super Nintendo. Let's just say we wanted, um, Aero Fighters. So it does come pre-installed with those themes. By the way, this is for the Raspberry Pi 3B 1.2 gigahertz. It will not work for Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, which is the 1.4 gigahertz. So you do want to make sure that uh, you have the correct Raspberry Pi. It's not going to be backwards. It's not. It only works for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It's not going to work. For, it shouldn't work for the Pi Zero, and it's not going to work for the new Raspberry Pi. So here we go. This is running good, as you see. No issues whatsoever. Cool. All right, as I'm exiting out, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, that's pretty much it on this one. I, I really like the 64 gigabyte size because it's you know only $20. As I mentioned, it does have that one PSP. If you like Dracula games, you're hooked up on that. PlayStation games are hooked up on that. It still has a few Sega CDs and also has just a couple of um, PC Engine CD and N64 where it really does kind of give you all the games up until about Game Boy Advance as well. It only gives you about half. But a lot of that is fluff as well. Um, you can always add to this as well. Um, expand the file system, add some games if you like. Um, I'm gonna give this one a B. You know, it's it's definitely interesting. I like the um, the difference with it. Um, the reason I'm not gonna give it an A is just you know I think with a lot of what people expect now on a 64 is either with just a massive amount of games dumped and no video snaps and just give me a good solid image and have everything set up for me, um, or they want. A, a very specific image and I have to say this kind of in between the two and but it's if you want shaders you want this you want that it could totally be an A for you I'm just giving it as far as the genre as a whole a B is a great 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 so if you're into this you want the shaders you want that look that theme is kind of cool and some of these other things it could totally be right up your alley so again thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one